Live from the Darien High School Auditorium, the Darien High School Orchestra presents Springtime in Russia. This is the orchestra's annual spring concert. Hi, I'm Damian Andrews. So glad you could be with us for an evening of music on the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. Here now is the director of uh, music for the Darien Public Schools, Mr. Rick Sadlon. supporting and encouraging our orchestra students in all of their musical endeavors throughout the year. I'm Rick Sadlin, the Director of Music for the Darien Public Schools. The students that you'll be hearing this evening have worked and studied hard to present their music to you this evening, and as you will soon hear, not only has their musical growth over the, over the past year been impressive, but if you look back at what they've achieved since elementary and middle school, it really becomes quite amazing. After many years of performing music together, some since way back in elementary school, this will be the final Darien High School concert for our wonderful virtually every aspect of student life at Darien High School, achieving great things and leaving their legacy in academics, athletics, community service. In addition to all of that, they've become fine musicians who have engaged in giving the gift of their, their music and sharing their music on a high level. And when you take a moment to reflect from where, where they started back in third and fourth grade, their journey has really been quite amazing. I would like to be one of the first to congratulate and sincerely thank our outstanding orchestra seniors for their leadership and for sharing their gift of music with all of us over the years. We sincerely hope that we've enhanced the, their lives journey while here at Darien High School. We know that they've enriched ours. Uh, this is an exceptional group of young people. We wish them joyful, meaningful lives, and we will truly miss them. As you are aware, we are really very fortunate to have a dedicated uh, music teacher leading our orchestra students at Darien High School. For her exemplary dedication to all of our students in the orchestra program, starting from elementary all the way through high school, please join me in thanking the person who, who guides her students to achieve higher levels of musicianship every day, Ms. Jane Menace. Enjoy the performance.
I was lucky enough this semester to, because of a scheduling conflict, have one of my chamber orchestra students join us as an assistant in this group. And Sebastian Chaya has worked with us this semester as a sectional coach. He sat in the various sections to help out, and he's also learned to conduct. And so uh, tonight, Sebastian will be conducting Mazorski's Hopak and um, in his conducting debut. And um, to memorialize this, um, we're giving him a special award and his own baton. So if he continues, he will have his own baton.
like to <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's hopes and dreams um, is from a video game, and we were lucky enough to have John McGovern arrange this piece for us. So it's uh, arrangement by John McGovern of hopes and dreams from the Undertale video.
yesterday or anything by the Beatles. Then I gave them a list of pieces I had by the Beatles, and they said, we'd like to play yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is uh, yesterday, and I was just listening to um, a program on the BBC the other day, and they said, and you may know this story already, that Paul McCartney woke up in the middle of the night with this melody in his head, and um, in order to remember the fact that he wanted it to be da 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 he wrote down the words scrambled eggs, and so and then eventually changed it to this, to the song about scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so this is Yesterday by the Beatles.
while they're getting set up, I just want to take a moment to um, talk about how successful our trip to Canada was. We recently traveled there two weeks ago and played two concerts in Quebec. One was at the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity in Quebec City, and the other one was at the Sugar Shack um, nearby in Lévis, Quebec. Um, this is a place where they make uh, maple syrup, and we had a wonderful time doing both concerts. Um, we also had a workshop at the Conservatory in Montreal with Gilles Belmar, which was a great experience because the kids really got to work for 90 minutes with a world-class conductor and composer. I'd like to take a moment to thank the students for their wonderful behavior and, and wonderful experience and, and just their way of demonstrating how great Darianne is in terms of um, a community to the people of Canada. And also to thank the four chaperones, um, five if you count my mother too, yay. Um, the four chaperones that went along with us, uh, Mrs. Drake, Mrs. Levinson, Mrs. Pensiero, and Mrs. Kennedy. So I'd like to take a moment to thank the students and the parents for this great trip. Our next combined piece is Mazur excerpts from Mussorgsky's pictures and exhibition. This piece was written after Mussorgsky and his friends lost their friend. Um, uh, her, uh, he was Mr. Hartman. He was a architect and a uh, painter, and they decided to put on an exhibition of his works, both his architectural drawings and his paintings and watercolors. So you'll hear those tonight. In your program, you'll see a list of all the movements we are playing. The first two are combined, and the last two are combined. So the first piece you'll hear is the promenade. That is a piece that's played as the people are walking around and looking at the paintings. Um, for your own knowledge, the original piece was written for piano by Mussorgsky and Maurice Ravel, the French composer, orchestrated it. Um, Mussorgsky also did an orchestration, but Ravel's is the most common used. We are doing an arrangement tonight um, by Carrie Lane Grusel for strings only. So this is Pictures and an Exhibition by Modeste Mussorgsky.
Uh, this is the time of the program where we recognize some of our, our seniors and, and the st students that um, have contributed a great deal to our program over the last four years. Um, I'm, it's my pleasure to um, award the uh, Daring High School Service Award um, for outstanding contribution in the area of service to the music department. The recipient of this award has demonstrated a consistent willingness and dedication over the past four years to assist both faculty and classmates in the pursuit of our musical endeavors. For our great appreciation, by the consensus of the Darien High School Music Faculty, the 2018 Darien High School Music Department Service Award is hereby presented to Will Kruger. The other department award that I'm going to um, give out right now is the Darien High School Outstanding Musicianship Award for exemplary contributions of outstanding musicianship in the music program and to the culture of Darien High School. This person has consistently demonstrated and shared an uncommon depth of knowledge in the area of music that has greatly benefited our entire music program at Darien High School and has enhanced our entire community. By consensus of the Darien High School Music Faculty, the Darien High School Outstanding Musicianship Award for 2018 is hereby awarded to Sarah Baldwin. I would like to begin by personally thanking the members of this year's orchestra for their hard work and their serious dedication to music. As I mentioned, we traveled to Canada and even the students who were not able to join us were preparing for this concert in, in a great way. They played music in their February concert and then in this concert that we played in Canada. So I'd, I'd like to thank them for all their hard work this year. It's, they've really grown a lot from September. This is the largest orchestra we've ever had here at Darien High School, and they've really become quite a cohesive group. So I really appreciate that. I'd like to recognize some students who participated in music festivals held this spring. This past weekend, Quinn Taylor and Christopher Von Ingen performed with the Fairfield County String Festival's Honors Orchestra. So I'd like to thank, congratulate them. <laughs> and on April 19, or 18th through the 21st, Sarah Baldwin and Elizabeth Griogarde were selected for and performed in the CMEA All-State Festival Orchestra held as part of the CMEA Conference in Hartford. I would like to recognize this year's graduating seniors, and if they could come over and visit my assistant for tonight, Eric Lancelotti. Um, he'll be standing up here. Um, uh, <laughs> Eric is injured, but he is here to help us. Um, so, um, so if, when I call their name, if they could come over and have a small memento of their four years working with me. Um, and Eric will present you with a small pin that is their instrument. So, Will Kruger from the bass section. Stay up there, that would be great. Just lie on the stage. Yeah, okay. Actually, if you go down there, then we can start down. It's a large group, Will. All right, Scott Peters from the cello section. And Alexander Williams, also in the cello section. In the viola section, we have Sarah Baldwin. Ryan Espitia.
and Erica Blaze. In the violin section, we have Sebastian Chaya. Victoria Clare. Elizabeth Petner. Charlotte Stansberry. Julia Tong. Mary McGovern. Mary McGovern. And, Ju and Olivia Taylor. Okay. Brooke Murphy Petrie. Fiona Tawney. And from my Pops Ensemble, we have Kara O'Rourke. Alex Edelman, <laughs> Kathleen McIlry, <laughs> and Lucas Thompson. So I'd like to thank all those seniors right now. Look at all of them, wow. They started when they were in third grade, many of them. So thank you to all of them for all their hard work. Okay, um, they can have a seat. And now we'll move on to the last of the awards. Um, thank you so much. Our first award is called the Conbrio Award, and it's given out um, occasionally. It's not given every year. Um, it's given to a student that has been a contributor to the entire string program, um, has worked with elementary school students, middle school students, the summer program, has done a lot for our program, um, the entire string program. Um, and I'd like to recognize this student who has um, quietly worked behind the scenes with me for many years. And this award is presented to Elizabeth Petner. Our next award is the DHS Orchestra Director's Award. It's presented to students who have been leaders in the DHS Orchestra and who've made valuable contributions to the group. This year's awards, two awards, are presented to Julia Tong and Will Kruger. And our final award is the National School Orchestra Award. Each year, this award is presented to an outstanding student who exhibits qualities of leadership, integrity, and responsibility. This award is voted upon by all members of the orchestra. This year's award, it gives me great pleasure to present to Sarah Baldwin. Again, thank you to you parents for all of your support of our program. Of course, we could not be what we are without your help and assistance and 
encouragement. So we will f be finalizing our program tonight. Our final piece is Kalinka. Thank you again for coming tonight, and, and we hope to see you soon. Our next performance is a small ensemble concert on May 31st. So thank you again for coming tonight. And that concludes the Darien High School Spring Orchestra Concert. This has been a production of the DAF Media Network, a joint venture of the Darien Athletic Foundation and the Darien Foundation. For our director, Alex Hamm, I am Damian Andrew. Thanks for watching and have a great night.